Kiwit employees have been busy making these concrete guideway segments for the elevated rail system. They symbolize the vision, which is a, a mental image of the rail project transformed into a hard concrete and steel reality. At the company's 34-acre Kalailoa casting yard, 12 of these segments are made each day. It's a pretty massive undertaking and uh, we're very excited that the production here at the facility is moving as well as it is. Each segment weighs between 40 to 50 tons and is 11 feet long, 30 feet wide and 7 feet tall. It will sit on top of the columns and guide the trains. Never before in the history of Hawaii are we doing this kind of construction and how they're going to be connected to each other, how they're going to be pulled together by a high tension cable is something that has not been done. And we're leading the state in this area and a whole bunch of local folks are learning how to do something they've never known how to do before. Even though these segments all look identical, the reality is that no two segments are the same. Every segment is unique and has its own unique geometry and survey so that these pieces cannot go together except in a specific place. Every segment is cast in a way that we know exactly where it goes in space, exactly where along the alignment it goes, and it always fits in one spot. And so the logistics of putting it, building it, storing it, and hauling it is really the critical element of getting the, the project done on time. Wilhelm says about 5,200 segments will be used for the first 10-mile stretch from East Kapole to Aloha Stadium. Twelve segments are needed for each span, which is the area between two columns. There's a life expectancy of 100 years for these, these segments. And with that life expectancy of 100 years, it symbolizes really and truly that this project is not just for us here, but it's for future generations, for our children, for our grandchildren. And it's happening here today. So I'm so excited. We have 83 people working at this project. High paying local jobs. We have over a thousand jobs on the project now and when we go gangbusters and when we start building on both ends we're going to have up to 4,000 people working on this project. Direct jobs and an additional 6,000 indirect jobs. Huge employment. Huge amount of money being put out onto the street helping all of us live better on this island. The 21-mile rail project comes with a price tag of $5.2 billion, and HART officials say it should be completed by 2019.